Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. Everything we just possibly can. And you know, that takes some work sometimes. It really does. And I just want to give a very big warm welcome back to my returning subscribers. You know, I love you. I thank you. And I appreciate you. All right, ladies. And you know, it does. Sometimes it takes everything we have to hold on to our pretty. And right now I'm not feeling the prettiest, but you know, like I always say, let's style the beauty we are today. And some days we're not, you know, things don't go right or we don't feel right or we don't look right to ourselves. So, but we, we forge ahead and we style the beauty we are today. And I'm not complaining about anything. It's just that I can't stop eating. I can't stop freaking eating junk. I gave up popcorn for Lent. And what am I eating? Cheetos and those Gardettos, honey, mustard, and onion pretzel pieces. Oh my God, I can go through a bag of that in three days. I haven't lost a pound. I'm bloated. I'm all, and my clothes just are feeling snug. And, you know, so I just, sorry for that little, I just took a moment. Sorry, allow me that. And don't come for me about, oh, you're not big. You know, my sister always tells me, oh, please, you complain because you're not a size four. Well, I'm not a four. Um, I'm, I'm past my six. I'm in, a, I'm in a good eight now, knocking on 10 store. That's not where I, I'm used to being. And I got too many clothes. I've got to wear my sixes. So enough of that. We shall carry on and we shall style the beauty we are today. Right, ladies? I know. She's silly. Let's do the lips and the nails because that's easy. That doesn't change much, right? On the nails, I wanted to do pink. So this, of course, is Olive in June, and this color is Wild Orchid. And you've seen me wear, wear her before. She's just a good neutral, natural blue. She's a blue pink, very blue pink. On my lips, I went back to Patty. You know I love Patty. It's Pat McGrath, the Madarance. Uh, and uh, this is called Full Panic. It's a nice pink, kind of a blue pink, nice. And I think the pencil is Night Fever. It matches, it's Pat McGrath's pencil. I love her pencils because they are really, see I even made a mark on my hand. I still, I've been rubbing and rubbing trying to get it off. But I love those lips and I love those nails. And I have no new stuff to talk about. It's killing me. I should have something new. So I have ordered some things. You know, I like showing you some new pieces or new items every now and then because we need to add this life. You add a few new things, you take away some old things, you know, you expound and you grow. Right, right, right. So let's just go right to today's topic. Let's do that. I have been watching YouTube. And seeing all these uh, influencers do the videos on it. And even Angela Michelle did a video on this. And it's called the sandwich style. St what is it? Sandwich style looks. Or, you know, the sandwich rule of fashion. And if you haven't heard of that, the sandwich rule is where... Let me see. I wrote it down. It's called whatever you have on top needs to be reflected on the bottom. So if you have on a black top then you need to put on black shoes. And you can put anything else in the middle. If you have on a black blazer, put on black shoes. If you have on a white blazer, put on white shoes. And you can put any color in between. You can put a print in between. You can put whatever color you want in between so that it looks like a sandwich, so that the top and the bottom pieces mirror one another to make that style. And you can also do it with accessories. You could put on all black and then put you know, your, your pink shoes on with a pink bag or your brown shoes on with a brown bag or your camel shoes on with a camel bag and vice versa and on and on and on. You, what you do, you, you make it, you, you, the, the, what am I trying to say? The look will coordinate itself with those two pieces. It kind of grounds them and because, let's see, I was on, uh, Lydia Tomlinson and I will list her video below and I will list Angela Michelle's video. Angela did a great job because she started off with the shoes and when I decided to do this 
my God, this was the hardest thing for me to do. Me. I'm like, oh, I do that. You know, okay, that's a cool little concept. Honey, when I tell you, I realize I got black shoes, I got beige shoes, I got white shoes. I got, I think, one pair of navy shoes. I was like, I don't have any shoes and colors. I just ordered a red pair. You know, I've been looking for a red shoe for a while. Ordered a red pair of flats. You know, I got the red pumps, but I ordered a red shoe and I ordered another white shoe. I've got white loafers, I've got white shoes, I've got white sandals. But I went through, I said, oh, I can do that. I can put on a top and then match it to the bottom. Everything I pulled was neutrals. I said, I just did a video on neutrals. You know, I did the tan, the, the off-white, the beige. And when I started pulling these looks together, what do I have? I got tan, I got beige, I got white. So forgive me if this video is lacking of color. But I wanted to, to try out this formula. You know, I get dressed, I put on black pants, I'm putting on black shoes more, more often than not. If I put on beige, I want beige shoes on. I never thought about I could you know, marry the top and the bottom to bring a balance to the look. I just didn't ever think of that. I never thought, okay. And now it had, it was the hardest thing for me when I started pulling pieces, what? Everything was looking tan and black. I said, oh my God, they're gonna shoot me. You just did a neutral video. But my wardrobe is full of blacks and whites and off whites and tans and a lot of yours are too. So I don't feel too bad, you know. I try. I did. I found some some one thing where I can do some color with. But as far as shoes, you know, I have a few colorful shoes or their print. I, I don't know. It was it was hard. It wasn't hard. It was a challenge, because it wasn't that hard. It was a challenge, and it was a little frustrating, because fashion just comes easy to me. It just it's like sec a second sense. But this time I had to really focus and think about it. And, and that seemed like work. And I hope it's not work for you. And I try to keep it simple here for you because to me, fashion is second nature. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can put that together. I can, oh. But when I started doing this, I said, my God, what seems like something simple, uh-uh. So, but I don't want you to, to, to uh, you know, be discouraged because I did figure out some pieces and I'm going to put them together and show you what I did and, and how I came up with it and, and how it'll work for me. I can get that to work for me. And now it'll be, it's embedded in my mind when I'm putting a look together, I'll think about it and go, hmm, oh, I need, if I put this on, then I need to wear the black shoes. Or if I put this on, this white top, I can put the white shoes on. So, and vice versa. And I've probably done it. If I look back at some of my old outfits and videos, I've probably done that and not even realized it. Hey, hey, and you probably have too. You probably have done it and not even realized. So we can do it. So today we're gonna play in Deborah's closet, and um, I don't think I have anything new. We're gonna. I have something you haven't seen before, but it's not new, and I'll show that to you. Here we go. I'm, I'm talking fast and not breathing. There we go. 72 years old, what can I say? Anyway, give me a minute. I always say give me a minute. You don't need to give me a minute because I'll cut the camera off and go get ready and it'll... It's just, you know, YouTube talk, YouTube talk. Anyway, ladies, thank you for tuning in and uh, we're gonna get right to the first look of, of the sandwich. Sandwich number one, that's what we'll call it. Sandwich look number one, coming up. Sandwich style number one, ladies. It's all about the tan and the black, the beige and the black, and this is what I did now. How do we make a sandwich? I've got the beige top, I've got the middle is all black, and on, and then I have the tan loafers on. But let me come up and, and show you again before I show you the shoes. My Michael Kors tan bag. I love this bag, but I wish it had a little top handle. I wish it was, I can probably buy one on Amazon. I want just a little shorter handle to go here because I want to carry it like that. But look at that, that's my beige. And 
and this lovely, I'm going to talk about this blazer. I'm going to show you this. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Let me show you the shoes first, though. Let me get that done. And I pulled out other bags, too. The shoes are Franco Sardo. They're a patent bone, like a penny loafer. I have these in uh, white, I think. I have them in another color. They come in a pale pink, too. It'd be a great shoe to get. But they're comfortable, and you know I love to throw on a pair of loafers. <laughs> At all times, I can throw in a pair of loafers and be comfortable. And it's just uh, the Banana Republic book neck top underneath from last year and my Chico's black label, black stretch straight skirt. Now let me show you this jacket. This jacket is two pieces. I've never shown it to you. I got it last year and it was just such a mix up when I got it. They sent me, I ordered one size, I ordered a medium because of, you know, mother hips. And the medium came and it was just so loose on me. So I, I, I wrote back to the company. Anyway, it's from Urban Revival. I was watching Karen Britchick and she had a lot of fashions featured on her channel and this was one of the, the items she showed and I just like, I gotta have that. So, so I ordered it in the medium and it was too big, right? So I wrote them, you can write them back and. And I said, how do I set up to get an exchange? I need this in a small. And they said, okay, or something. And I never heard anything. And then I got the small delivered. Mind you, I still have the medium in there. I have this in a medium where the shoulders are they're way too big for me. And it's a, it's a fits better through here. But I wouldn't want to split it up. So when I find somebody who can wear a medium, it's all yours. <laughs> It's all yours because I can't do anything with two things. But look, this is a great little blazer with pockets. Got the split. Now, you see this jacket? Let me show you how, what this does. This comes off. This is two pieces and it's a vest. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This comes off. You don't have to wear the jacket. You've got the vest. The jacket is separate. Is that not cool? The little short jacket is separate, and you can just wear the vest. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I thought the medium would work through here, and it does, but it's too, the jacket is so big, the shoulders hang over. Hey, if you're out there and you can wear, you think you can wear this in a medium, you know, drop me a message or, or on Instagram, DM me or something, and give me your address, I'll send it to you. It's nothing I can do with it. And, you know, it's a little snug through here, but it fits. If I put the other one on, you could see. So if you can wear a medium, and I usually wear sixes, eights, and my waist is small, but these hips are, are Mother Africa. Proudly Mother Africa. <laughs> so we have to work with that. But look at this. This is, I did the sandwich look. See, it's Urban Revivo. They no longer have it listed, or I would list it. I couldn't even find it after I got it. I mean, you could try looking on their, on their site at some things, but they had some nice stuff. And I don't know if you remember, I ordered a leather jacket from them, the one they sent to me that was all balled up, that the delivery people screwed up and, and tore the package open and balled it back up and taped it up. And then I did get it and it was so wrinkled but, and, and I wrote them and they said, you know, to, to iron it. And I, I got me a cloth and I ironed it and it came out fine. But look, this is so cute. I don't know how it looks open. Oh, I guess you could just wear it free and open. It's a great little, little vest and two-piece jacket where it looks like you've got, you know, a jacket made like that. So, great little sandwich, <laughs> sandwich look. You know, the shoes aren't real, real dressy. But then the jacket isn't even. It could be. But I thought, this is so unique and so nice. So, it's a great opener, huh? It could have been the finale, right? So, there you go, ladies. What about that one? And I could still do the black bag. But if I'm sticking with that sandwich room, you know, sandwich, all this in the middle and, the, you know, pick it up on the bottom, bottom and top, even though this is a little darker. But I think it would go well with the tones. Now me, me, I would still wear a black bag if I wanted to. I would still either pull out this little one 
I would still, to me, because the black bag doesn't break the sandwich roux. I've got the sandwich roux done already, so I could still do the black bag. These sleeves will really slide down your long. What do you think, Lynch? You think you could do this formula? So I'm going to use this black and put some other colors with it. I'm going to keep this base on for the next look and uh, create another look for you. <laughs> but here you go. Ah. Great jacket. I mean, there should be more like this. I mean, you could check the site. They may have some on there. I even, I will even check. But Urban Revival, and they're not real pricey. They're reasonable. They're kind of like Zara, you know, about in that price range. Zara and Mangos. So those to me are, when you're doing fast fashion, that's reasonable and, and a good price that we can afford. That's working class, even though I don't work anymore, but you know what I mean. So, oh, I didn't tell you about the earrings. These earrings are new. Though I've had them a few months. Probably got them in December. No, I got them around Valentine's Day. Sorry about that. I haven't worn them. Uh, they're from Dillard's. They're the cute little, they're, they're kind of a pinky peach tone. And they've got that gold bore. I will list these. They're cute. They're really cute. Of course, Anna Luisa, my favorite pearl drop necklace. I love this necklace. An old Michael Kors watch that needs a battery, but I love the tortoise shell. And Tory Burch and Kate Spade bracelets. And my sandwich. And my sandwich. <laughs> so I'll be back with the next look for you, okay? Second sandwich. Second sandwich style. Here we go. I kept the black base on. I changed to a white jacket and changed to white shoes and white handbag. It's simple as that. Put the black earrings on. Trying to connect some of this black and not just have this black exclamation mark and everything else around it. So I put the Tory Burch earrings on, of course. Switch to my white Michelle watch. Pulled out Mr. Teddy Blake. Can't go wrong with Teddy Blake, ladies. Woohoo! Everybody should have at least one Teddy Blake in their wardrobe handbag collection. Or, or more. I say more. More is better. Beautiful bag. I mean, you can't go wrong. I love Teddy Blake. And I love this particular style too. I love it. I love it. I love this size. It's so perfect. And it's a top handle. I'm a top handle kind of girl. I really am. Anyway, back to this. I put on the ink shoes, of course. I don't have a lot of white shoes. I think I got the white loafers and I got these. I didn't have some white sandals, you know, but. We're trying to be dressy a little bit here <laughs> and not sandal season, not quite sandal season. But again, this was a blazer from last year. Talbot's had the best linen blazers last year and I got this blazer in the white. I got it in a, a blue color, light blue. I got a yellow. They had a pink. I should have gotten that pink one too. So I'm sure they're going to come out with some more this year. So if you get a chance, grab them. Grab, I love the length of them. They're lined lightweight the single little button just just a good good blazer and perfect for my sandwich look and if i didn't want to do it like i said i don't have to do the white bag because of the white shoes because you know that's how our mothers used to do it and your shoes and bag had to be the same color you didn't buy a pair of shoes but you didn't buy a purse to go with it remember those days ladies youngsters you won't but like this, this wouldn't have happened back then. You wouldn't have carried a black bag and white shoes. No, 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 no. But you can today. You can carry, you know, take out this black and white and carry a red bag or a pink bag or, or you know, beautiful coral floral print bag with, that has black and white and whatever. You know, I've got a Kate Spade polka dot, black and white polka dot bag that could go with this too. But I think that. The white bag really pops it, really completes the look. And just feel fresh. You just feel fresh in this. I could have made a whole video around changing up with this ba black base, but that's not what it's about. We're trying to make a sandwich. So I'm going to switch to another color combination, but it's not going to be much color, all right? You know that, but in the meantime, this will work. And this is how we do our... Sandwich number two style, right ladies? I'll be right back with the next one for you. Another sandwich, ladies. <laughs> Wet your appetite, okay? 
This again is sandwiched up with black on top, black shoes, and you know, in between. We got a little gray, we got a little white. I pulled out the little casual my course bag, put on the chain necklace that I got at that boutique. I got it turned around. And some little simple, tiny, small Tory Burch little earrings. Really nice, that work really well. White watch, still got that on. But again, here's the skirt. And you remember when I got this, these sweaters, I got this in black and I got it in tan. It's a great little knit ink sweater that Macy's had. Maybe they'll do some more next year. I got this near the holiday time or Thanksgiving time. I can't remember, but it's a great sweater. Came in a lot of colors too. Got little pockets, double breasted. And this is a mango pleated skirt. It's a t-shirt knit skirt. I love, I wish they would do this like in a, in a black, do it in a navy, you know, a cream color, but it works. It just, it doesn't even have a, a hem. It's just like, it's cut off right there at the fabric. It's really cool. I've had it. And uh, a Banana Republic, just a t-shirt top, long sleeves. You know, you can never have too many of your little t-shirts and knit tops to put on, especially for the spring and, and going into summer. It's the perfect little accessory to have. But I've got this sandwich made, <laughs> which you look at it. And on my feet are Circus by Sam Edelman. My God, I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. These are some Lug uh, loafers with the little gold. So I got the gold on the shoe, I got the gold on the butts, I got the gold on the purse, I got the gold around my neck. So I'm marrying all of that with this. This is a great sandwich. This is a great sandwich. It's not a poor boy. If it is, it's one of those piled high high. So it's a great steak and egg or something. I don't know. It's a great sandwich. Really nice and fun. What do you think, ladies? Can you do the sandwich rule? I can do the sandwich roux. I think it's pretty easy. I wouldn't put white with this. It's, this white is too much. I don't know. I have to look in the mirror here and see. The white is too much. It, it needs to the black. The gray, you know, affords it where you need to have the black. And I think this was too dressy. So this little easy bag here. I do need to get me another more casual black bag. But I love this one. It's kind of small, but I like it. Anyway. Finale's coming up. I'm just doing one more look here because we've done enough. We've, we've conquered the sandwich rule. We understand it and, and it's fun and I'll keep it in mind. It'll always be in the back of my head. Well, I need to match the shoes with something on top and everything else in the middle can go its way. You know, it's just there and, and these will marry and, and coordinate. We must coordinate. You got to coordinate, son, if you remember that movie. So I appreciate you hanging with me and trying this out with me. You know, see what you can do. Let me know how you can come up with it. Have you tried the sandwich move? Do you believe in it? I think it's an easy one to do, except you just got to have the right shoes. It's like I need some pink shoes. I got some pink flats. But I need, I need some more shoes with color, I think, if I'm going to play that role, especially for the summer. Though I do wear a lot of black, uh, white blazers in the summer because it is summer, so I'll be okay with that. You can't have too many white shoes, right? You can't have too many black shoes. You can't have too many brown shoes, <laughs> you know? So there we go. You can't have too many neutral. You gotta have a neutral. So I'll do the finale. I'll add a little color in there, do something simple and, and classic with the sandwich tail, and then we'll be done. And I appreciate you sticking around. You know, I'm here every Thursday every Thursday just for you. And I want to thank you all for last week's video. You guys love those neutrals. Wow. So I'm sorry I threw some more in at you this week, but you can never have too many neutrals. I think a neutral in your wardrobe is just, just a godsend because if you can't do anything else, you can throw the neutrals on and put some jewelry on and you're good to go. And you can, you can uh, blend in anywhere. And when I say blend in, suit the occasion if it's kind of dressy and kind of casual you can kind of like meet that criteria down the middle if you're not sure of what they're wearing and everything so just a little tip so i'll be back with the finale just for you i hope I, it's in my head so i hope it works out we're going to see in the meantime my god these shoes are so comfortable i don't want to take these off Oof, I, it's just like i'm bouncing 
bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> so I'll be right back, ladies. Final sandwich. Here we go. <laughs> black. Black up here. I got a big white shirt on. Banana Republic shirt. I got on an old vest. I've, I mean, this thing is probably 10 years old. I think I got it at Dillard's. Faux leather trim right here and here. Just a little sleeveless vest that's been in the closet. Pull it out. Wear it, right? Necklace, earrings, hoops. And I got on my Alan Ann Taylor, the pretty, beautiful, pretty hot pink. And I have on the Mark Fisher. You know I love these. I call them baby doll, but really they're more like a Mary Jane Mew. That's what they really are, like a Mary Jane Mew. And they still have these, but they only have them, last time I check, in a bone color. You know I want to get that color. You know I want to get that color because I love those neutral colors. And I can just, this shoe is just easy to maneuver in and get around in. Again, I would do the black. Either the casual black, I'm looking in the mirror here. See how that looks? Or I do the Tory Burch black bag to uh, marry the whole look, complete it, take it somewhere. Because you can never go wrong with Tory Burch, right? <laughs> and I just put hoops on and put this on. And it's comfortable, it's nice. And you can do it, ladies. So we can conquer the sandwich rule of styling. Black, black. You match that and everything in between is, you know, your, your bacon, lettuce, and tomato, so to speak. Because that's one of my favorite kind of sandwiches to have. And after Lent, I'm going to have me a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Trust. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I have enjoyed you. I hope that you will try this out if you don't already because I'm probably late to the game but it's never too late right we don't do things and I've been looking at a few little gimmicky I call them gimmicky but in a way they're 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 ways to um, rules to dressing that simplify it for you because if you can say well I'll just match my shoes with a top and then I put on something in between and I know I'm okay I'm coordinated and I'm balanced so if that helps you that's a great thing you know so we're going to learn some more things. We're learning as we go, right? Because there's always something more to learn. So I enjoyed you as always. And I am hungry as always. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you come back and see me. Like, subscribe, share. And a lot of you have been sharing. And I really, really appreciate that. And we're growing. You know, I'm almost at 17,000. So my goal is to hit 20. You know, remember back when I was to hit 5, then it was to hit 10, and then I hit 15. So I said, when I hit 20, I'll do balloons again. So I'm almost at 17 today. So we got 200 more to get to, uh, well, another 1,000. We need to get to uh, 20,000. 17, we'll have 3,000 more. Oh, I can't even imagine that. But we're going to go a day at a time, just you and me you and me and hey whatever else happens it's gravy right <laughs> i love you be sure to leave a little kindness everywhere you go and remember it's your fashion your style your choice right your fashion your style your age your choice and dress the beauty you are today because i'm dressing this round all this extra here i'm not gonna zip these pants up i apologize to the pants i said i know i know I, I, I'm forcing you. Come on, hook up and zip. You ever talk to your clothes like that? So, anyway, I am just clowning. I appreciate you being here. I love that you come and see me each week, and I love your support. And remember, if you can wear that Urban Revival jacket and vest, whatever, send me an air dress or something. I'll send it to you. I promise. I will. I'll send it to you. Anyway. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. See you next week, ladies. Bye.